Hi guys, my name is Cecil and I'm here in Korea for modeling and I'm also a YouTuber. Hi everyone, I'm Vivi and I'm a graduate student. I also do YouTube. Hi guys, my name is Mateus and I am a Chongchiwekyo Hakseng at Korea University. Hello guys, my name is Miki. I'm an all Hakseng at Korea University. Where are you from, guys? I am from Denmark. I'm actually Senegalese, but I come from Paris, France. I come from the big land Brazil. And I come from the land of passion, Spain. <laughs> How long have you been staying in Korea? I have been in Korea for seven months now. Same, I've been in Korea for seven months. I've been in Korea for almost five years now, four years, yeah. I've been in Korea for two and a half years. How you country people learn more about Korea? Back in Denmark, Korea is not very famous actually. A lot of people confuse Korea, China and Japan with each other. Um, I had several of my friends who actually didn't know that Korea was a well-modern country. A lot of people in Denmark thought it was just like Thailand maybe. So I was so shocked to know that a lot of Danish don't actually know anything. They, when I said I was going to come to Korea, they say, oh really, North Korea? Mm. And yeah. People don't really know much about it. Nu nuclear weapons, mm. yeah. Same, when I said that I was going to Korea, all my Senegalese and French friends were like, why? <laughs> they didn't know about it. But I guess it's a little bit more famous in France because of BTS now. At least for young people, the K-pop is sort of like, like you know, swoop everything. So now they kind of know, they're like, oh, K-pop, Korea, BTS, but they don't really know about the culture. I think there's uh, some people who know that Samsung is from Korea, of course. And then, of course, in 2012, where Gangnam Style was up, a lot of people knew Gangnam Style, but K-pop or anything has never been very popular in Denmark. So mm, that's about it, I think, yeah. So when you were in school, when you were in Korea, there is something about Korea? In our Korea? books. Yeah. In our Ooh. home countries. No, never mm. heard of Korea. Oh no. Yeah, mm -hmm. we never studied Korea at all. Mm -hmm. Maximum, we study China, Mao Zedong. And oh yeah. In Denmark, we have this really, really, really famous song that about a battleship that was sent to Korea in World War II, I think. And it goes, in the song, it mentions that the ship goes to Korea and helps with the Korean War. So that is something that every student learns that... Even when we study the, the World War, we never really hear anything about Korea. Oh, how can you go to a country and not look at the map <laughs> before going? But not only this, I always like to study geography a little bit, so oh. I kind of knew where it was. Yeah, at least I knew that. <laughs> at least the geography, I got it right. In France, usually they have a tendency to confuse it with Japan. They don't really know, they know the area, but they don't really pinpoint where it is. So yeah, when you ask most people, it's not really something that they would know for sure. We don't study this history, but we studied geography. Okay. So at least the flag, I could match the flag mm. with, the, with the country. With the country. The World Cup that was, uh, that was held in uh, Japan and Korea. Mm. So yeah, it was famous for that too. Brazil won. We won. <laughs> <laughs> By the way. <laughs> People you have a design to come to Korea, they are saying like... They were just shocked that I was going to uh, a country so far away. They were like, oh, why? Why are you going there? Well, what's the reason? I... Also, they always say, oh, Gangnam Style is the country of Gangnam Style. Oh, Sai. yeah, yeah, Gangnam Style. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I told my family that I decided to move to Korea, first of all, my dad was terrified. He didn't want to let me go at first because he was very scared that there was gonna happen something with North Korea. And from my experience, people outside of Korea are more afraid of North Korea than South Koreans are. So I had to calm my dad's nerves down, but he um, got me into this special foreigner list in Denmark that will send out special warning messages to everyone in South Korea if something happens. <laughs> so then he let me go. <laughs> yeah, they send the usual stuff like take care. If there is some nuclear bomb, just come home because it's really easy to escape from a nuclear war. Oh my God. And for me, my family didn't really have like a problem. Um, I had started learning Korean even before I left. So they only asked me 
why are you suddenly learning this new language? Why not Mandarin or Japanese? I was like, oh, I don't know, I just like it. And so when I, tell that, when I told them that I was actually moving, they already knew that I was interested in it. Um, but my parents thought that I had a boyfriend, but they didn't believe me when I said no. They were like, no, 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 you have a man there. That's why you're going. I was like, no, I'm just going because I, like, I want to learn Korean. But they didn't believe me. My uncles, they were like, oh, you went to Korea. Have you ever eaten dog meat? And they, kesok, they would ask the same question. Say, all right, I will eat the dog meat. I think my friends, they realize that Korea is an advanced country. Everyone has high education and it's clean and it's safe, just like Denmark is. So now they're more safe. They can see that I'm living well here. So they learned more about Korea because, because they know me who moved to Korea. So of course now everybody is a lot more um, happy with my decision that I moved to Korea. They want to move. Oh, really? <laughs> They're like, oh my god, Korea seems to be a country full of opportunities, so much fun. Indeed, it's really fun for foreigners. I'm not sure if Korea is really fun for Koreans because of the, you know, it's really like, like everyone calls it. But for foreigners, it's a really fun place, I would say. Same, I think my parents are just like, they feel more safe. My dad actually came to visit and he really liked it. I wanted to impress him, so I took him to like the nice places. Like I booked like a really nice hotel so he couldn't say anything to me. So when he left, he was like, oh, okay, well, I feel better now. And I think my mom is gonna come, so she's still kind of like, hmm, I don't know, but if she comes, I'm sure she's gonna love it. I brought two of my Danish friends to Korea and she got a shock because she didn't know it was so clean and people were so nice and the food was good. So everybody was so positive surprised about Korea. So <laughs> uh, I thought that but I was like oh should I say it? Yes sure uh, you because soju is first of all not very strong second of all you gather people together and third of all you can mix with other drinks oh, yeah it's nice the Korean citizens good feeling about keeping their city clean in Denmark um, there's certain people who don't have any respect and will do graffiti and will throw trash on the ground and I rarely see that here in Korea and I would love to import that clean mindset to Denmark. Like I would love if people in the subway in Paris could do the queue before getting inside. It's not like a big bunch of people trying to get at the same time. Like here, people actually wait in line. So just like the discipline mindset, because everywhere it's like really tidy. People are just like waiting for their turn. I would also import 24/7 uh, Pyeongchang. I would import. I would import that. I would import coin karaoke. I would import Taiji <laughs> Uyu. Because it doesn't exist in France and I, uh, I went for two weeks on vacation I almost died because there was no Taiji I was like, where's my strawberry milk? Chicken, oh, yeah. the chicken, the, the fried chicken. We yes, don't have fried we chicken. we don't have it. I yeah. don't understand why. Me too. It's so easy. We import all the chicken to the world, but we don't have fried chicken. All we have is uh, KFC. KFC. Yeah, I don't understand. Yeah. I, what things you're able to inform your country to Korea? Oh, oh, I have one, a good one. If I could choose between everything I want to bring from Denmark to Korea, the number one thing would be clean air. <laughs> Fresh air. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, wow. the, uh, yeah, the Bra oh. Brazilian air is very, very good because we have the Amazon rainforest. So we have a very pure air. But we don't have a pure air here, as everyone knows. Yeah, the visa bungee in Korea is awful. I know a lot of it is because of China. In Denmark, the air is almost 100% clean. We have so much like um, nature and clean air, and you can just take a walk anywhere, even in the spring. <laughs> <clears throat> so, Spanish men. Oh. <laughs> they are known for their looks. <laughs> they really are. Yeah. Yes, and their charm. Every, every friend that, of mine that goes to Spain, they say, "Wow, Spain is really beautiful." Looking between Italy and Spain. Actually, I'm not sure. I'm an Italian person. So, of course, Italian. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Thank you for watching. Korean Bros, 구독해 주시기 바랍니다.
Annyeong. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Greenbow's channel. Thank you. Bye. Bye.